Welcome back to this video series by Revion.ai, where we decode how artificial intelligence is changing the pharmaceutical world. Today we're talking about a task that every GMP professional knows too well, writing SOPs. What if AI could help create draft SOPs in minutes instead of hours? Writing SOPs is slow, tedious and painful. There's always a formatting issue or compliance gap waiting to trip you up. Exactly. SOPs are foundational to GMP operations, but they're often inconsistent, outdated or non-compliant, because writing them well takes time. According to regulators like the FDA and WHO, poorly written or unclear SOPs are one of the top causes of compliance issues during inspections. AI can change that. Before we proceed, Amanda, are there any global guidelines on how an SOP should be written? Absolutely. Regulatory bodies like the FDA, EMA and WHO provide clear expectations. Here are the essential components every SOP should include. Title page, with SOP number, title version, effective date and authorizing signatures. Objective or purpose, why the SOP exists. Scope, what activities or roles it covers. Responsibilities, who does what. Definitions, any acronyms or technical terms. Materials or equipment, if applicable. Procedure, step-by-step -step numbered, using imperative language like perform or verify. Documentation and records, what logs or forms need to be filled. References, regulatory citations. Revision history showing version changes and approval trail. So even with AI, we need to stick to this structure. Exactly. AI can help generate it, but compliance depends on how you format and control it. Is all of this covered in our company's SOP writing guidelines? It should be. And that's the first thing you should have ready before using AI. Let's break this down step by step. First, keep a copy of your company's SOP writing guideline in SharePoint. Also, if you're referring to external regulatory guidelines like ICHQ 10 or 21 CFR 211, you can upload and reference them in your prompt. This gives the AI proper context using a method called RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. It helps the AI align the output with the actual regulatory language, based both on your company's documentation standards and external frameworks like ICH or FDA. The AI uses this combination to ensure the output meets your internal style and regulatory compliance. So we're not just prompting, it's like giving the AI background reading. Exactly. When used right, that extra context dramatically improves accuracy and compliance. The next step is to ensure the person using the AI is trained. Prompting isn't guesswork, it's a skill. The better your operator understands how to frame instructions, the better the AI will perform. Think of it like briefing a junior writer. Context is everything. Got it. So training someone on how to ask the right things is just as important as the AI itself. Once your operator is trained, they need to identify all relevant details specific to the type of SOP they want to create. These details should reflect the nature of the procedure and the regulatory requirements associated with it. For example, if you're drafting an SOP for handling out-of-specification OOS results in quality control, the inputs might include SOP title, objective, department, target audience, applicable equipment, reference guidelines and documentation. This is like preparing a dossier for the AI. Exactly. This context helps the AI draft content that is specific, compliant, and relevant to the intended procedure. Now you're ready to prompt the AI. But instead of using simple one-liners, we'll use a structured and advanced approach that improves traceability and compliance. We're applying four specific prompt engineering techniques here. Role prompting. We instruct the AI to act as a trained pharmaceutical QA professional. Contextual grounding, we give the AI links to your internal SOP guideline and relevant regulatory references to help it align with actual standards. Section by section prompting, we break the SOP into discrete sections and finalize each one before moving on. Reflexive prompting, we instruct the AI to ask any additional questions or request missing details before generating content for each section. Start your prompt by specifying the role and sharing links to both your company's SOP writing guideline and the applicable regulation, like 21 CFR 211 or ICHQ 10. Also include structured inputs like SOP title, objective, target audience, equipment and required documentation. Example prompt looked like this. 
So the AI not only writes, but also asks questions back. Exactly. This interactive approach ensures clarity. Section by section prompting gives you more control and asking the AI to pause and verify before proceeding helps maintain compliance and accuracy. Now let's walk through how this works in real time using Microsoft Copilot. First, I'll give it the structured prompt we discussed. Let's see what it asks. Copilot responds with some clarifying questions as we had not provided enough details in our original prompt. Let's reply with answers to these questions. Excellent. Copilot gives us the first draft. It's a good start, but there is definitely room for improvement. Exactly. Here's why human review is mandatory. At this stage, pause to verify the AI's draft against your SOP guidelines and check for missing elements or misalignments. Like in this case, clearly define what's excluded, emphasize data integrity and electronic documentation systems, include cross-functional roles, keep language generic and compliant, and ensure contract lab responsibilities are explicitly stated, all while maintaining a formal, GMP-aligned tone without citing specific regulations. Right. So let's give Copilot the refinement prompt so that it can give us a better output. This version is really much improved over previous one. And that's how section by section reflexive prompting with clear context leads to a high quality SOP draft. We can now repeat the process for remaining sections and prepare a completed SOP. It's now time to wrap this up. That's right. Thanks for watching.